how to change your Google Play country on Android devices. If you have moved to another country recently, you may have come to the realization that you are unable to see, purchase, download, and use apps that are native to that country you have just moved to. This is because the Google Play Store shows you applications and content based on your IP address. It may therefore be a good idea to change your Google Play Store's country to enable you to interact and use content and apps in the current location you are based in. To change your Google Play country on your Android device, the first thing you need to do is open up the Google Play Store. As you can see guys, I'm currently on my Android device's home screen and the Google Play Store application is at the very bottom of my home screen. I'm just simply going to tap on it now to open it. Once your Google Play Store has opened, tap on your Google account's profile picture at the top right hand corner. Once you've done that guys, you'll be greeted with a list of options. The option that we're looking for is settings. Tap on settings. Once you've tapped on settings, at the very top, you should see a setting called general. Tap on the drop down arrow to the right hand side of general. You'll then be greeted with a drop down list of more settings. The setting that we're looking for is account and device preferences, which also includes account email, country, and history. Tap on the account and device preferences settings. Once you're in account and device preferences, scroll down until you see where it says country and profiles. Directly underneath country and profiles, you'll be able to see all the countries and profiles linked to your Google Play. As you can see guys, I only have one country and profile and that is currently selected on my Google Play Store. And as you can see, my current country that my Google Play Store is currently set to is Ireland. Underneath country and profiles, you'll be able to switch to the new country that you have just moved to recently. As you can see guys, for me it says switch to the Malaysia Play Store because of course I'm currently in Malaysia. And underneath that, you'll see a list of payment options associated to that country that you have just moved to recently. If you want to switch your Google Play Store's country on your Android device to another country, you will need to add one of your payment details specific to that country that you would like to switch your Google Play Store to. So of course guys, I'm changing my Google Play Store country from Ireland to Malaysia. So therefore I will need to add either a credit or debit card, which is one payment option, or add Cellcom billing, or add Shopee Pay, or add Touch and Go e-wallet, or pay with FPX. Before I begin the process of switching my Google Play Store from Ireland to Malaysia, I just want to read out some crucial information at the very bottom here. So Google Play says, you can browse content from the Play Store in other European economic area EEA countries, but you can only purchase or download content from the Play Store for your country. You should change your Play Country only when you move to a new country. You may see content relevant to the general area that you're in based on your IP address. So again, guys, this information at the very bottom basically explains to you in more detail of what I said at the start of this video. Okay, guys, I'm now going to switch my Google Play Store's country. The payment method that I'm going to be adding for this video's demonstration is to add the Touch & Go e-wallet to my Google Play Store. So all I'm going to do is tap on Add Touch & Go e-wallet. Once you've tapped on a payment method, guys, specific to that country that you're currently in and going to be changing your Google Play Store to, you'll immediately be greeted with a small window which says, change your Google Play country to Malaysia. You won't be able to use your current payment methods or play balance and you can't change your country again for 365 days. This change can take up to 48 hours to complete. Until then, you might not see prices in the new currency or be able to make purchases. So keep that in mind, guys. You won't be able to change your country again on your Google Play Store tied to your Google account for 365 days. Also keep in mind that you need to be patient once you complete this process because it can take 48 hours to complete the Google Play Store country switch. And as you can see guys, you have the option to cancel or to continue. Of course guys, I'm going to be continuing as I want to change my Google Play country. So I'm just going to simply tap on continue. And as you can see guys, I'm then greeted with a notification regarding the option I just tapped on, which is add touch and go e-wallet. And underneath Google Play says, you'll be redirected to touch and go e-wallet to verify your account. By continuing, you agree to Google Payments Terms of Service, and in my specific case, Touch & Go eWallet Terms of Service, the Google Payments Privacy Notice describes how data is handled in connection with Google Payments. If you're happy to agree to all these terms and the specific terms, 
that you see before you, simply tap on continue. You'll then be greeted with the next steps to link the payment method that you selected to your Google Play Store. For me guys, the Touch & Go eWallet app opens and at the very top it says auto debit authorization. The Google app is requesting for permission below. Auto debit, you'll be notified when your e-wallet is automatically deducted upon successful transaction. Mobile number, your mobile number will be masked and the full mobile number will never be shared with merchant. Of course guys, these permissions are specific to this video demonstration. At the very bottom here it says, I have read and agreed to the auto debit terms and conditions for Google. So I'm just going to tap on the box here to check mark it. And then I'm just going to tap on authorize. I'll then receive a verification OTP code to my mobile number. So I'm just going to grab that and type that in now. Once you've typed that in, you'll then be taken back to your Google Play Store where you'll need to complete sign up if required. So in my case it is, and of course it's associated again with the payment method I selected. So Google Play says, you've almost finished linking your Touch & Go eWallet account. Now we just need your billing address to complete sign up. So I'm just going to enter my billing address guys real quick here. Once you've entered in your sign up details, simply tap on save. And as you can see guys, a new country and profile was just created. So I'm just going to go back to country on profiles by navigating to the top right hand corner and tapping on my profile picture, then tap it on settings, then general, then account and device preferences. I'm going to slide down to country on profiles. And as you can see guys, for me in country on profiles, there is now only a single country on profile and that is for Malaysia, which means my country on profile for Ireland has been replaced with my Malaysian country on profile, which means the Google Play Store country switch was successful. And that pretty much concludes the video guys on how to change your Google Play country on Android devices. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so